Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the new Trimoran Skiff skin, as well as the Geomantic Fishing Rod skin. Let's have a look at the Trimoran. There it is. Ooh, it looks really, really nice. Got some fishing gear aboard. Ooh, lovely. Looks really nice. You sit at the back as the, the captain. Got a nice sail. I do wish the sail on any skiff, if it has a sail, was... Oh, that's kind of annoying. There's no collision on the uh, more pontoony parts. I know there's a better term for that <laughs> than pontoony, but uh, the stabilizers up there? I'm not too sure. But I do wish um, they had collision and that also if you have a sail on the skiff skin that it sort of adjusts depending on the speed. So when you're at slow speed it's really low and when you're high speed it's fully uh, drawn up I guess is the word. Interesting how it splashes at the front right there. So it is. And there is full speed. Very nice. Right, let's have a look at the dye channels. So currently we have gold with shy peach, black cherry, and destroyer orange on here. The defaults are chalkboard, ruin, old jeans, and worn bone, which gives us very rustic uh, sort of fishing boat sort of vibe. Which is very, very nice. Let's have a look at the individual die channels. So here is full Shadow Abyss. You can see that most of the boat is dieable bar the inner areas. They all seem to contain like the fishing supplies and the ropes. And the inside of the boat all seem to be the same colour no matter what. As well as some of the scuffs on the hull. The sail is all dieable. So here we go. Top left is going to be the main part of the hull, the mast, the boom. I forget what that piece is called, but that other part of the sail. As well as some details on the benches throughout. And it looks like some of the marks on the outside layers. No, they're always that sort of reddish hue. Okay. Top right is going to be the outer layer of the boat as well as all of the seats and decking. Bottom left is going to be the hull of the two pontoon parts on the side. Outrigger, is that the right thing? No, I don't think so. And bottom right is going to be the sail. So here is a contrasting layer. We have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. There we are. That's how all the layers interact with each other. So there is a little bit of green there, but is that always there? If I get rid of the green and change that to, say, yellow. No, that, that's always that sort of shade. Okay. Nice. Right, where is a fishing spot? That looks nice. Let's go find a fish. Oh, there's actually a, a fish right there. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that is... That's a terrible spot to keep your fish, because a fish down below might just go, Ooh, that looks tasty. Terrible spot, me. Why would you do that? Alright, let's go find a fishing spot. Of which there are none, it seems. At least I can't see any around. Oh wait, that was one right here. Yep, yeah, here we go. Let's see how we get on. Here is the new Geomantic fishing rod. It looks really, really nice. Very kind of... Reminds me of the ley line in... I think it's Tangled Depths and Dragon Stand. Or just Heart of Thorn. Or maybe it's the one in Season 2 in 
dry top. Gives me that sort of, anyway, ley line vibe mixed with sort of diamond or orene, I guess. Let's have a look at it in action. So there's our float, a little shining crystal. The line is also clear blue sort of ley color. Haven't fished in ages yet again. I only really fish on the demos these days. I need to get back into fishing. There we go, though. We've got a cherry salmon. Look at that. There we go. Alright, let's go check this out on all the different races of Tyria, at least the playable ones. Uh, have a quick look at all of them. Here we go. Right, here is the new Trimoran. Uh, this is the sort of size you get when you are on a Silvari. I like this blueness. It's very, uh, pops very well, doesn't it? I have to have lure or bait to equip what? Do I not have lure or bait? I guess we we'll, can go get some. Right, here we are with the fishing rod on Silvari. That's the sort of size you are looking at for the humanoid guys of Tyria. The first time fishing on this character. How does it go? Ugh. Nope. What? Nope. What? Nice. Hey. We got an exotic one? That's kind of handy. Ahem. These dies here are... Let's have a look. We have blood on the top left, seafoam on the top right, matriarch brass on the bottom left, and cream on the bottom right. There we go. Right, let's head on over to another character. Why is the water not spawning in here? That does not seem great. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Here we are on Char with the new skiff. Kind of a bit of a squeeze for Char. But there we go. Let's have a look at the fishing. There we go. Lovely. Can we get a fish? We can. Will we be able to actually reel it in? I have a letter. What? Come on, I can do this. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. <laughs> Come on. No! I was turning the camera to get a better shot. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> right, let's move on to our next character. Right, here we are on human with the new skiff, looking really nice. Oh, we have a fisher there as well. It does look quite basic with its dye patterns, which is a little annoying. But also, here is the seats for passengers. So we have one here, one here, just on each board. You have one person for each board. There we go. Lovely stuff. And the dye pattern here, Coco. Evening red, matriarch brass, and icing, which is quite nice. Where is their fishing spots? One over here. I do like how you can stand over here as well and fish. Get a little bit more range. It's probably the widest skiff that we've had yet, I want to say. Come on. There we go. How are we going to fare this time? Ah. Nope. Ah, we can do it. Nice. Lovely stuff. Right, here we go. Let's move to our next character. 
Here we are on Norn with the new Skiff skin. Also looks a bit uh, cramped. Much like the Char. Come on, make it. Nice, okay. Bit cramped, but not too bad. Nice drift turn, lovely. <laughs> Let's try out the fishing. Right, and here is the new fishing rod on Norn. Looks quite nice. Will we catch this fish? Probably, because it's easier. In Kanta, yep, that was very fast and very easy. Right, let's head on back to Kwando and wrap up this video. Here we go. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> here we go. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the demo of the Trimoran Skiff and the Geomantic Fishing Rod. Uh, leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out this week's giveaway to be with a chance to win the Skiff skin or the Fishing Rod skin for yourself. The link for that should be in the end screen. That's it for me for now. I'll be back later on, and we're hoping to wrap up all of the uh, Clockwork Chaos achievements and also a bit of the old... Festival of the Four Winds to kind of do the Crane Pavilion and I think is there anything that I still need in that? I don't really think so No, so yeah, we're gonna focus on the Clockwork Chaos stuff Get that finished For which we have four more achievements we really need to get And then if we have more time wrap up with the Crane Pavilion on a new character Which we shall vote for in the stream chat, I suppose or maybe on Discord. Anyway, uh, that's later to come. You can join the Discord to stay updated with all things new on the channel, such new videos, and when I go live. You can support the channel through the membership program or with super thanks on all the videos, and that would really be amazing. But yeah, that's it for me for today. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care.